Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Daisy DIY. Today I'm sharing with you guys my favorite Christmas DIYs. I hope you enjoy. If you do, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Thank you so much. For the first project, we're going to be using one wood sign that I got from Dollar Tree and I had it from last year. So the first thing, I'm going to remove that image. But if you guys want, you guys can use the back of the sign to do this project. And to paint it, I'm using the Ristolin Chalk Paint on color white. I did one coat and I just let it dry. And to distress it a little bit more, I'm using the Weverly Anti-Wax. And I'm just using a piece of this bad sponge and I'm going to distress the sign just on the edges and I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to be using this beautiful free printable that I found on Google and I'm going to cut it to the side of my sign and then I'm going to place it with a little bit of Mod Podge first. I put one cut on Mod Podge on the back and then I put on the top of the sign and I also seal the image with one cut on Mod Podge and I just let it dry. The next thing, I'm going to be using this stencil that I got from Walmart and I'm just going to be placing on the bottom part and the paint that I'm using, the Waverly paint on color moss and I just did one coat and once I was done, I just removed the stencil and to distress it a little bit more, I just used that Ristolene Chalk paint on color white and I just distress it a little bit on the top of the trees and also on the top of the image so it can blend all together. I just create this beautiful bow made of this ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree and I just placed them all together and I'm just going to be using a little bit of hot glue to put it on the top of the sign. I'm going to be using a few pieces of this greenery and I just place it on the top of the bow and I just use two pine coins and I just place it on the side and this is how it looks our sign once we're done. It turned out really beautiful. I love love it but please let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this project For the next DIY, I'm going to be using this beautiful napkin ring that I got from Ross. They were really great price. So I'm going to be grabbing just one and also I grabbed this wood house at home and I know I got it like 70% off when they had this Halloween sale. It was amazing the discount that they had. Also, I'm going to be using these berries that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to place three together and I'm going to place it all around of the napkin ring and I'm just going to put it to a side. I'm going to be creating two side projects in this wood house. So what I did, I just used the back of the wood house is completely black and I'm going to be using these stencils that I got from Dollar Tree and to hold the stencil I'm going to grab a piece of painter's tape and I grab this Ristolin paint on color white and I'm going to do first one coat and I'm going to do another coat on the top so it can be a little bit more white the letters I hope it makes sense you know So once I remove that stencil, I'm going to place the napkin ring on the top and I'm going to just use hot glue to glue it. But if you guys want a permanent hold, you guys can use like E6000. And that's how simple and easy it was to create this beautiful project. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about this project?
For the next project, I'm going to be using one wood sign that I got from Dollar Tree. And I just want to show you just that item number just in case if you guys need it. So the first thing, I'm going to remove this middle part and also the image. But if you guys don't want to remove the image, you guys can just use the back of the wood sign to create this project. The next thing, I'm going to be using this Crabwise chalkboard paint on color ink. I did one coat and I put it to a side and I let it dry for a little bit and I did a second coat. And once it was completely dry, I kind of removed a little bit of the paint because I want to kind of like distress it and also I want the metal to show a little bit. And once I was done, I decided to do one coat on Mod Podge on the top so we can seal the paint really well and also it won't remove the paint. The next thing, I'm going to use this calendar that I found at my Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using one image. You guys can see they have so many beautiful images on the back. I decide to use the first one. It's so beautiful. So I put my image on the bottom and my sign on the top and I just cut it with my scissor. And also I decide to use a little bit of the mud patch. I just put it on the top of the sign and I just did one coat and I just placed my image and I just went kind of like smooth a little bit of that image. Not too much you know because it didn't have that many wrinkles. So once I was done I also did another Another coat on Mod Podge on the top so we can seal the image really well and I just put it to a side and let it dry really well. You guys can see that I use like a plastic you know like to smooth a little bit of the bubbles. Also you can use that it works amazing. And once I was done here's the part where I show you that I decide to do one coat on Mod Podge in the top and you guys can see the image it's a little bit bigger but you guys can use a piece of some paper and you guys can remove the extra paper on the edges you know like or you guys can use your scissors but for me it works amazing every time that I use a piece of some paper. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to place the metal part on the top and I just use hot glue to glue it. I think it's way better for permanent hole to use E6000. If you guys want to, you guys can just put any embellishment on the top. And here's another option, you know, like if you guys want an extra step you guys can put like some berries i think it looks beautiful too i just want to bring that other option for you guys let me know in the comments down below what option do you guys like better the first one or the second one For the next DIY, we're going to be using this shadow box that I have on hand. Also, we're going to be using this Restylane chalkboard paint on color white. And I'm just going to do one coat and I'm just going to let it dry. I'm going to use this image that I have and I'm so sorry I need to apologize I cannot remember from who is this image I know it's from a youtuber that it's amazing if you guys know whose image is this please let me know in the comments below so I can link her channel below so you guys can have this image so to cut our image I just use my scissors and once I cut it I'm just going to be using this mud patch and I'm just going to do one coat and once we're done I'm just going to put my image on the top.
Once we're done, we're just going to put our frame back together. Also, I'm going to be using these stickers that I have on hand, and I'm just going to use this piece to put it right here in the middle. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. It turned out really adorable and it was really simple and easy to create this project. But please let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about this project? The first thing we're going to need for this project, it's going to be one scarf. I got it from Dollar Tree. So the next thing I'm going to be using, it's going to be one piece of paper. We're just going to start creating three small rectangles. And for that, I'm just using my ruler. I didn't measure anything. I just eyeball it and I just create it. So now I just fold the scarf in half. So I just place that rectangle that I cut in the top. And to hold it, I'm just using this pin that I got from Dollar Tree as well and once I'm done I'm just going to use my scissors to cut it and this is how it looks once you're done I'm going to do the same step with the other two and to glue it I'm just going to use hot glue Once I'm done, I'm going to turn it over so that seam is inside. Also, I'm going to be using this pillow stuff that I had on hand and I'm just going to start placing it in inside. We're just going to start gluing the bottom part and for that I'm just using hot glue. I'm going to repeat the same step with the other two. The next thing we're going to be using is going to be these wood stems that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm just using the long ones. And to glue it, I'm just using hot glue. Also, I'm going to be using this ribbon that I got from Amazon and I just create a small bow and with my scissors, I just cut the end of the bow and to glue it, I'm just using hot glue. I decided to use these buttons that I got from Dollar Tree and I just want to show you guys that you guys can put any color and it will look really pretty. I'm just putting the red one and the gray one and I'm just going to use the black one and to glue it I'm just using hot glue. Also I'm going to be using this greenery that I had on hand it's from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to start gluing it here in the bottom and to glue it I'm just using hot glue. If you guys want to, you guys can just leave it the way it is. So I decided to use another piece of this wood stem, that round ones, and I just want to put them on the bottom so it can hold a little bit better. And to glue it, I'm just using hot glue. But if you guys want a strong hold, I would recommend you guys to use wood glue. And the bottom, I decided to put a piece of this lace ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. And to glue it, I'm just using hot glue. Also, I'm going to be using a piece of this diamond wrap that I got from Dollar Tree as well. I'm just going to start putting it in the middle of the ribbon and I'm just using hot glue to glue it. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. They turn out really beautiful. I love it. But please let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this other project?
I'm going to reuse this wooden box for our next project. What I did, I used the Waverly Anti Wax to paint it. I did one coat and I just let it dry. And I'm using four pieces of these wood cubes and I will be gluing them on the bottom part of the wood box and I'm just using hot glue to glue it but if you guys want a strong hold you guys can use wood glue and to paint it I'm using the Ristolin chalk paint on color white I did one coat and I just let it dry I didn't cover the wood box all the way because I want the brown to show a little bit And to distress it a little bit more the wood box, I used the Waverly Anti-Wax and I just distress it at the way that I want my wood box. The next thing, I'm going to be using this beautiful snowman sticker that I had on hand and I'm just going to be placing it right here in the middle and I just use hot glue to glue it. Also, the snowman, it needs a scarf and for that, I just grab a piece of this ribbon and also I just place one button and to put inside of the wood box you guys can place anything i just gonna place this adorable christmas tree that i had on hand and i just want to show you on the other side i just placed another beautiful christmas sticker but if you guys want you guys can just leave it without a sticker and i think it will look really beautiful too let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this project For the next DIY, I'm going to be using the other side of the wood house and this time I just removed the image and to paint it, I'm going to be using the Ristolian paint on color white. I just did one coat and I just put it to a side and let it dry really well. Also, I'm going to be using this beautiful ornament that I got from Dollar General. It's really beautiful and I decided to place it on the top and also I grab a piece of this farmhouse ribbon and I just cut a piece and I just glue it on the top of that wood house and I just glue the ornament also. If you guys want a permanent hold, I think you guys can use like 6000 to glue the ornament and this is how it, and easy it was to do this project. I love it so much this two side project but let me know in the comments down below do you guys have a favorite for this beautiful project? For the next project, I just create four triangles. I just use white foam board from Dollar Tree. So here's a measurement if you guys need it. It measured three and a half inches and four inches. All four, it measured the same. Also, I'm going to be using this jute twine that I got from Dollar Tree as well. So I'm just going to start gluing it on the triangle just like this. So what I did, I just used hot glue and I just start gluing it. So you guys can see when I just start putting the jute twine on the top, I just use a little bit of hot glue so it can hold the jute twine on the top. And once I was done, I just put a little bit of hot glue like every other part. So I'm just going to start doing it all the way until I get to the bottom.
And once I was done, I just used my scissors to cut it and I just put a little bit of hot glue to hold this remain piece of the jute twin. I'm going to repeat the same step with the other three and this is how it looks once you're done. I'm going to use one wooden doll that I got from Dollar Tree and what I did, I just cut it with my saw and once I cut it, I just have four pieces of this wooden doll. If you need the measurement for this wooden doll, I measure four inches. I'm going to be using this sandpaper that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to start sanding the edges. And to paint it, I'm using this Waverly Chuck paint on color anti-wax that I got from Walmart. Also, I'm just using a small piece of this bad sponge. I just did one coat and I just let it dry. Also, I'm going to be using these mini pine coins that I got from Dollar Tree as well. So I'm just going to use two and I'm going to be using this greenery that I had on hand from Dollar Tree as well. And to glue it, I'm just using hot glue. I'm going to use these base fillers that I got from Dollar Tree and I have the big ones and the small ones. And to glue it, I'm just using hot glue. And this is how it looks once you're done. I'm going to repeat the same step with the other three. And now I'm just going to start gluing the wooden doll in the bottom. And for that, I'm just using hot glue to glue it. I'm going to be using this ribbon that I got from Amazon and this other ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to start cutting a few pieces. I didn't measure the ribbons anything. I just want them to be the top one bigger, the middle one medium, and the bottom to be a little bit smaller. I'm just going to start tying it in the wooden doll. So you guys can see, I just place them this way. I think it will be more easy just to put it first the ribbons and once you're done, you just cut it out the side that you want it. Also, I'm going to be using this floral foam that I got from Dollar Tree, so I just cut a small piece to put them inside. I'm using these clay pots that I just recreate on my channel. I have the video. I will link it down for you guys below if you guys are interested to watch this video. Um, I decided to reuse it again because I really love it how they turn out and I have these beautiful clay pots in my kitchen. Also, I'm going to be using this floral moss to put it inside. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. They turn out really beautiful. I love it. But please let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about this other project? For the next DIY, I'm going to be using this wood tray that I got from Dollar Tree. And to paint it, I'm using this Restolent chalkboard paint on color white. So I'm going to do one coat and I'm just going to let it dry. I'm going to be using the back of the tray on this project because the front part, I'm going to do it for the last project that we have. So I just did one coat and I just let it dry. And now we're just gonna start creating lines and for that I'm just using my ruler so my wood tray a measure 12 centimeters so every two centimeters I'm just gonna start marking with my pencil and once I'm done I'm just gonna start connecting the line and to distress the lines I'm just gonna use my finger 
also I'm gonna be using these stickers that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna start spelling the word Mary but I decided to put the word farm fresh Christmas and this is how it looks once you're completely putting the letters so the next thing we're gonna be doing I'm gonna be using this Mod Podge that I got from Dollar Tree as well and I'm just gonna do one layer on the top and for that I'm just using a small brush from Dollar Tree so once I'm done I'm just gonna let it dry I'm going to use these stickers that I got from Dollar Tree as well and I'm just using the trees to put them on the bottom and to glue it I'm just going to use hot glue. Also I'm going to be using this jute twine that I got from Dollar Tree. I decided to put a string on the side. If you guys want you guys can just leave it with two or three. I think it will look really pretty either way and to glue it I'm just using hot glue. So you guys can see I'm just putting it all the way the strings. I decided to cut it on the in because I'm just using this tray to do two projects so but if you guys are only doing one project I think it will look really pretty on the top also The next thing we're going to be using is going to be this ribbon that I got from Amazon and I just create a small bow to put it on the middle and to glue it I'm just using hot glue. Also I'm going to be using these berries that I got from Dollar Tree and I just put three berries together and I'm going to put a few pieces of this greenery on the side and to glue it I'm just going to use hot glue. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Please let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this other project. So that was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified every time there are a new video. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Thank you so much and have an amazing day.